I know a company is looking for forklift operators. Would your husband be keen? Yes, but he doesn't know how to operate one. Oh, don't worry. I'll arrange for him to go for training. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Oh, but first you need to pay me a $500 deposit. Oh, yes, of course. trabaho para sa iyo dito sa Singapore. Talaga? Oo. May nakilala akong lalaki na napakabait. At sabi niya, maari ka nang pumunta dito agad. Eh, ano naman daw trabaho yan? Forklift driver. Ang sabi, ipadadala ka daw muna sa isang pangsasanay. Eh, di mabuti. Kailan naman daw pwede pumunta dyan? Malapit na. Bibilan muna kita ng isang ticket. Napakasaya ko. Sige, sige. Ako din, ako din. Jason. Rayflo. Dennis, welcome to Singapore. Thank you so much for helping us. I have some paperwork for you. Oh. This is a letter from the Ministry of Manpower. Thank you. About the job, do I have to go for an interview? No, no need. The company needs a fault lift operator urgently. My wife said you've been sending me for training first. No, no, not me. The company will be sending you. It'll be a five-day course on fault lift operations. Once you finish that, you can start work. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, but the course is not free. Oh, uh, how much do you have to pay? I'll need $500 to register you for the course, plus another $1,500 as an agency fee. Would you be able to pay me $2,000 by today? Of course. I'll just go down to the bank and withdraw. for the agency fee. Thank you. Everything okay? Yes. Uh, you will help my cousin to stay in Singapore. Yes, yes. Don't worry. I'll get her a job. Mm. I'm sorry, but we're not recruiting forklift drivers. But I went for the five-day forklift course and I passed. Here, see. And my agency said that I can start work once I got the certificate. I'm sorry, but... We're definitely not hiring. It can't be. See, I have the documents from MOM. I'm really sorry, but we don't have a job for you here. Maybe you'd like to clarify with your agency? Come on. 
Hello? Hello, Jason? Yes, who is this? This is Denis Salvador. Listen, I'm calling because the company said they are not hiring. And... Hello? 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 Hindi ako makapaniwala na naloko tayo eh. Magkano nakuha sa'yo? Grabe, 4,500. Bakit nalang? Kaya, ano nang gagawin mo ngayon? Hindi ko nga alam eh. Dapat uuwi kami, kaya lang wala kami pambili ng tiket. Pasensya na ko rin ah. Hindi ko akalain kayang gawin ni Maria ang mga ganun. Maria? Oh. Yan ba yung pangalan niya? Oh, kilala mo siya? Meron ako dating kaklase sa computer, Maria yung pangalan. Lagi nga siya nagtatanong kung meron akong kapamilya o kaibigan na gustong magtrabaho sa Singapore. Talaga? Uy, mukhang parehas na Maria ng loko ka sa atin, ah. Ito ba siya? Oo, siya nga. Siya si Maria. Tin, tin? Oo, siya nga. Siya si Maria. Hindi kaya itong Maria na to eh. Hindi naman talaga totoong ahente ng trabaho. Siguro nga, hindi. Kasi ba't na tayo lulukohin ng ganito? Tama. Kung totoong ahente siya, hindi niya itatakbo ang mga pera natin at mawawala na lang bigla. Sige. Magre-reklamo ako sa pulisya. Good morning. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Nora Asman. Dennis Avatar. Yes, take it. You reported that you and your friends paid agency fees and security deposit. But never got a job the agency had promised. And the company said they weren't hiring. Have you called the agency? Yes. But Jason never answered. Is Jason the owner of the agency? I think so. But since we'd already given all our savings to Jason, we got no more money to buy a ticket to go home. So what's Jason's full name? I don't know. But I'm sure I can recognize him if I ever see him again. Do you have anything else to say? Yes. Jason wasn't working alone. It's It was a Filipina lady named Maria who first contacted my wife. Do you have Maria's contact number? No. But my friend, who was also seated, said uh, she attended this computer school. Brian, what do you have? Okay, uh, no, Asman, I went through our records of cheating cases. No Jason showed up, but I found this. Chua Mei Chen, arrested on charges of cheating, released on bail but failed to appear in court. Since then, she's been on our wanted list. And apparently, the Ministry of Manpower has been investigating cases of alleged illegal employment involving this person. We proceed to MOM after I conduct a photo edit session with the victim. Yeah, that's the one. That's Jason. Are you sure? Yes, yes. Yes, he's the one. Yes, that's Jason. Hi, I'm Christina. Yes, I'm Nora Smith from Clemency Police. Nice this is my colleague. Hi, O'Brien. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. you. Can you follow me? Sure. So, we had some information on this investigation, so we would like to share with you. The victims were mainly Filipinos. Each had complained that he or she were deceived into paying about $2,000 or more to Triple S Employment Services. Our officers conducted a screening on this agency, but they were unable to find it among the list of licensed agencies. Would this be a bogus company? Yes. From our investigation, we found out that Chua Mei Chen, who is operating this agency, is assisted by a Filipino woman. Would this woman be Maria? Yes. But we have also confirmed that Maria isn't her real name. I remember a Maria who used to ask her classmates if they have family members who wanted to work in Singapore. Would you have a record of this student? Let me check. Here it is. This is Maria. And this is a mobile number. Here, go through our database. We need to verify if her name is really Maria and where she's employed. Sure. Found anything? We ran a search on Maria on our database, but we could not match her particulars. Not surprised. She probably didn't use her real particulars.
I'm still waiting for information on the subscriber of the SIM card. Oh, hang on. An email just came through. The SIM card was purchased by a Geraldine Pagolayan Tu Liao. Who is this Geraldine? Let me run a check. Geraldine is a domestic worker. So Geraldine is also Maria. Hired by a Peter To. I'll get someone to check on Peter To. But what is she doing with Chua Chen? She will lay an ambush. Yes, at Topayo. From interviews with victims and the school, we know that she hangs out there. Geraldine at the coffee shop. Okay, let's go. Geraldine Pagulan, Tu Yes. SL Christina from MOM. Geraldine, you are under arrest for illegal employment activities. According to our records, you were registered as a domestic worker employed by Peter To. So what were you doing with Chua Mei Chen? She promised to pay me commission if I find her job seekers. How much? $300 to $500 for each job seeker. We would like to meet Chua Mei Chen. Could you help us set up a meeting with her? No. Why not? Jason, uh, I mean Miss Chua would normally call me to meet her, not the other way around. Really? Yes. Who else would know her? My good friend, Mary Joyce. Geraldine, also known as Maria, had claimed that Mary Joyce would know where Chua Mei Chen might be. So is Mary Joyce working for Chua Mei Chen? That is what we are trying to find out at this stage of our investigation. We will keep you updated of any new findings. Thank you. Thank you very much. Her name is Castillo Mary Joyce. She works at a departmental store owned by Geraldine's employer, Peter To. And that's where we are going now? Yes. Okay. Mr. Peter To? Yes? SIO Christina from MOM. May I help you? We are looking for Castillo Mary Joyce. She's one of my store assistants. Anything wrong? Is she working today? Mary Joyce! This officer from MOM is looking for you. Are you Castillo Mary Joyce? Yes. We're looking for Chua Mei Chen, also known as Jason. Do you know her? No. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Toh. Obviously, she's lying. Yeah, but I agree. I'll get my guys to keep an eye on her. Good idea. Hello? Hello, Jason. Mary Joyce, what is it? We must talk. Can we meet? No. Yes, at the usual place. Okay. See you soon. Hey, stand by, stand by. Mary Joyce, are you okay? Move in. Commission, SIO Christina, MOM. You're under arrest for illegal employment activities. Turn around. Commission, did Jeremy work for you? Yes, she wanted to. I never forced her. But you're not her official employer. According to MOM records, she's registered as a foreign domestic worker. That's because I paid her. So you did, even when you don't have a valid employment agency license? Yes. How about those who complain that you didn't secure a job for them? They paid you $2,000 or more, right? That's what they agreed to pay. I never forced them. And what happened to the money? I kept them. Chua Mei Chen was convicted on 54 counts of cheating and conspiracy to commit forgery, one count of operating an unlicensed employment agency, 
one counts of declaring false information in work permit application, one counts of illegal employment, and one counts of abetting a conspiracy to make a false statement. She was sentenced to seven years imprisonment. Geraldine Pagulayan Tuliao was found guilty of abetting Chua Mei Chen and fined $20,000. She was fined another $5,000 for making a false declaration in her own work permit application to be a foreign domestic worker. The case you have just seen was solved through good collaboration between the Ministry of Manpower and the Singapore Police Force. Unlicensed employment agencies are illegal. They undermine the integrity of the employment agencies industry. The Revised Employment Agencies Act which took effect from 1st April 2011, has given us greater powers to take enforcement actions against such errant and illegal employment agents. One of the amendments is the enhanced penalty, which is any person who operates or abets an unlicensed employment agency can be fined up to $80,000 and up to 24 months jail or both. For repeat offenders, they can be fined up to $160,000 and up to 48 months jail or both. All employers and workers are to use only MOM licensed employment agencies. Check that the person you are dealing with is a qualified and registered person. Under the Employment Agencies Act, if you use an unlicensed EA, you are guilty of an offence and punishable to a fine of up to $5,000. Members of the public who have information of any individuals or employment agencies violating employment regulations should contact MOM. What you are about to see next is a raid carried out by the Ministry of Manpower Enforcement Officers. tragic traffic accident that could have been avoided. On the 10th of October, two children, aged 5 and 7, were knocked down by a taxi driver outside Sembawang Primary School. The girl was later pronounced dead and the boy was sent to the intensive care unit of KK Hospital. Motorists should slow down when approaching schools. Look out for children who may dash across the road. For the first 10 months of this year, 32 pedestrians were killed in road accidents. Motorists are reminded to exercise extreme caution on the roads as you can end up killing someone and having to live with guilt. What you're about to see is a fatal accident that could have been avoided. Are 
driver? Yes. Yes. Sir. yes. Are you met into accident, is it? Yes. Can I have your IC and driving license? Yes. travel along Amoco Avenue 6? I'm driving about 60 to 65 km per hour. Did you reduce your speed when you first noticed the pedestrians? No. Why not? I sounded the horn to warn them. Hello? Sir. Uh, yes. One of the two accident victims just passed away. All right, thank you very much. Vicky Lo, one of the victims in the accident has passed away. We are placing you under arrest for causing death by negligent act. Ricky Lowe was found guilty of one count of causing grievous hurts by negligent act and another count of causing death by negligent act. He was sentenced to one week imprisonment and barred from driving all classes of vehicles for five years. The tragedy you have just seen could have been avoided if the driver had slowed down or stopped or if the pedestrians had not jaywalked. Pedestrians should always cross roads at designated pedestrian crossings, such as traffic light junctions, zebra crossings or overhead bridges. Pedestrians are very vulnerable on the roads and there are many precautions you can take to protect yourselves. At night, always wear light-coloured clothing so that you are more visible to drivers. Always make sure the road is clear before you cross and stay alert while crossing. Although you may have the right of way, Never assume motorists will give way to you. It is your life at stake. For motorists, do not assume that pedestrians can hear and see you. Pay attention to traffic conditions and look out for pedestrians who might be crossing. to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, do drop us an email. I'm DSP Teo Ming, signing off. <laughs>